Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Um, today I'm going to have a go at one of the puzzles from today's daily killersadoku.com website. Um, this is a greater than killer with a difficulty rating of 8. Now, once these puzzles go above 4, they're pretty blinking difficult. So do feel free to have a go at this puzzle yourself before, before I kind of try and show you a way through it. Um, but I'm going to start now, and we'll just see how you could get through this. Hopefully. So, 16 there, as it as it says in the combinations up here, that has to be 9-7. Um, now, in this box, there's an 8, which has to now be either 2-6 or 3-5. And that rules out the 5-6, because it has to either have a 6 or a 5 in it, that 8 box. The 7 and the 9 are ruled out, so we're left with 3-8. And that fixes the 8 box as 2-6. Um, this 12 box, now it's left as 1, 4 or 5. 1's too small. It could be 4 or 5, and that would make this 7 or 8. In this central box, though, you've got 18 and 14. That's 32. So the others add up to 13. Now, if that was 7 or 8, this is therefore 5 or 6. And it can't be 5, because that would put a 5 next to it in the 10. So that must be 6. That's 4. This is 7. That's 5. Those remaining ones in the central top box are 1 and 4. Now, over here, it's quite similar logic to what we saw up here with the 11 box, actually, with, with, with one of these setups. You've got two 8 boxes here. Now, this 13 box, it can't be 4-9 because we've already got a 4 in the box. So this cage can't be 4-9. If it was 6-7, um, these two 8 boxes could only be 3-5 each because 6 and 7 would be gone. They can't both be the same. So 6-7 is impossible. So that's 5-8. So these boxes are 1, 7 and 2, 6. Now, given the 7 and the 6 there, we know which way round those go. That puts 3, 9 here. And we can complete that 25. It's this combination with an 8. Um, so we're making some progress already. Now, this 16 box, we know that's 9, 7 in that order because of that 7. The 10 box the ones with 9 and 7 in it and 6 in it are all ruled out. So that's 2 and 8. Um, so where does the 9 go in this column, in this row, I mean, here? Well, obviously, 6 of the cells that we've already filled in have got numbers in. By the way, I'm not really... Well, when I fill in these puzzles with this software, it's better for, to put in a cell the only candidates possible, which is a slight deviation from our normal classic Sudoku system. Anyway, we were wondering where the 9 goes. It doesn't go here because there's a 9 in that box, and it doesn't go here because there must be a 9 in this column. So the only 9 in this row must be here. And that's helpful, I think. Um, now this 14... It's one of these combinations, but now it can't have 6, 7, or 9, because they're all in that box already. So we're down to 1, 5, 8, and 2, 4, 8. They both have an 8 in, and there's an 8 in this column already, so the 8 has to go here. Now these two cells could be 5, 1, or 2, 4. The orders are a bit fixed by these. So it's either 4, 2, or 5, 1 in one of those orders. So we've got, and there'll be a 3 in here somewhere, but we don't know which. Um, two, six. Now this box has to be more than 9. And the only candidates we've got left are 8, 4, 3, and 1. Well, it's got to have the 8, and either the 4 or the 3. Um, this box is 9, and the interesting thing there is, again, the candidates are 8, 4, 3, 1, and the 1 is impossible because that would put an 8 here, and we've already got an 8 in the column. So it can't be a 1, so these 3 are 3, 4, and 8 in some order, and that leaves the 1 to be here. That resolves 
whether that was 1, 5 or 2, 4. We've got 3 and 5 left to fill in. The 5 here fixes which order they go in. We get a 3 there now. Um, this 3 has sorted out the order of those. That 4 has sorted out the order of those two. Um, these are now 5, 1. These are 4, 6 in some order. Now this 19 box, um, it's got a 1, 5, 6. So the other two make up 13. So with this 4 or 6, we need a 7 or 9. This 5 box has to be 2, 3, because 4, 1 is impossible. Um, and now... Where do we go next? Let's, these are 5, 7, 9 in some order. These are 1, 2, 6. Now this is 9, so it could be 8, 1, or 3, 6. These other numbers aren't possible anymore. Um, and it can't be 8, 1, because then this box would be 4, 3 and not be more than 9. So that is, in fact, 3, 6. The 3 isn't there. Those can't be 6. Now, this 22 box here, there are 9 possibilities, but quite a few of them include a 3. And we've got a 3 here, so they can't be 3, and a 3 here, so they can't be 3. So there's no 3 in the 22 box. So that eliminates quite a lot of those straight away which is good. That's what we want to do. Um, up here, we've got 2, 3, 5, 4, 1, 8, all definitely in. This must be 2 out of 6, 7, and 9. And it must include 6, because this one doesn't. So there's a 6 in one of those two, and a 6 in one of those two. Now that rules out all the 6s in these two columns. So the 6 in this bottom box has to be in one of these three. Can't be in the top one because of that 6. So one of those is a 6. Um, and this pair adds up to less than this pair. And they're maxing out at 11 here. So this has to be less than a 5. Can't be 4 or 3. Must be 2 or 1 to go with that 6. Um, hmm, that's interesting. Ah, also, this box is 8, and this box is less than that. So this has to add up to less than 8. It can only use 1, 2, 4, and 5, I think. Um, now, I think what maybe we need to do is to work on this cell. It's hard to hard to narrow this down further at the moment. Um, let's see what what could we do at this point. Um, this combination seems quite interesting. Thirteen boxes bigger than that, which is bigger than that. Um, that might prove useful, I think. Ah. Eights. Look, this eight here means this isn't eight. So eight here is in the bottom two rows. And eight here is in the bottom two rows. So one of these is an eight. So this 22 contains an eight. And that eliminates that combination. Now this box does not contain a nine. So the nine must be in one of these two cells. And there's a 9 in this column, a 9 in this column. The 9 in this column must be in the top box. Now, if this was a 7, there'd be a 7 and a 9 in the box. That would have to be 8, 5. We'd have 8, 5, 2, 3, 7 used up. The 9 would have to be in this column, as we established. And it couldn't be here, because this box would either be 9, 4, or 9, 6, which would be too big for this relationship. Or it would be 9, 1, and this would be 6, 4. So that wouldn't be greater than. 
So that cannot be the seven. That's what we've established there. That must be a nine. And I think that seems likely to be the hardest step in this puzzle. That, that nine fixes this as a four for, to add up to 19. That's a six. Now, this could still be either six, seven, or eight, five. Although it couldn't actually be seven, six in that order because of this seven. Now, if it was 8, 5, you've got 9, 2, 3. The 6 would have to be there because of this 6. Um, the 7 would have to be in this box. This would have to be 7, 4 to be bigger than this 6, 1. But this doesn't have to be 5 and 8. It could be 6 and 7. And then you've got 4, 5, 8, 1 to fit in. The 8 would have to be in this box to make it bigger than this box. And actually, it would have to be 8, 4. And this could be, this would have to be 1, 5. Because if this was 8, 5, it would be the same as that 6, 7. So we know that the 4 is in this column. I mean, or rather, the 4 in this column is up there, which actually puts. Well, that, that, that's interesting. And we know that the one in this column, in this row, is up there. It'd be nice to be able to disambiguate those. Um, what can we do here? So we know now that this... Ah, oh, it can't have a six in. For the same reason as it couldn't have a three in before in that column and that row. It can't have a six in that column and that row. So this doesn't have a six in. It's one, two, four, seven, eight. It doesn't include the four because the four is in this column. There's also four in that column. This cell is the four. Um, the rest of these are four, eight, one, two, seven. That four can be taken out of those cells. And now these four cells here are one, two, five, six in some disposition. And for this cell, it also, as well as not being one, two, five, six, it can't be eight, three, nine, four. So that's seven. One of these is a five, so that can't be seven or five. This is in the same cage as a seven, nine. That fixes that one. Those can't be seven. They must include an eight. Um, ah, these must include a seven now. And now these can't include a seven. So that's fixed this box up here, or at least where, which cages the digits go in. That can't be eight, five. They can't include a six. That seven fixes this seven, nine. Um, the six also fixes that cell, those cells. That's good. Now, ah, this cell. In this column, we've got eight, three, nine, four, seven, and one of these is a six. So that leaves one, two, and five, and this cage takes away one and five. So this must be two. This is the only place left in this column for a five. It gets rid of two out of those. That gets rid of one out of those. It gets rid of two from those. That gets rid of one from those. And now we're really, I think we're moving in on the finish now, probably. That seems to get a lot of the puzzle done. Um, I think everything I'm doing from now is based on, pro well, probably is based on just an elimination from the same rows and columns. But it's, you know, that was a very tricky bit of logic around this box here. And a lot of the rest relies on spotting something that you can work with, which, which is always the hard skill in these puzzles. But um, this, this certainly seems to have got us through. I wonder if we'll have any tricky bits remaining at the end. It's filling in so quickly now, I suspect it won't. Um, oh, okay, that's interesting. We can't quite decide. Those are 4, 8, or 9. These are 3, 4, or 8. 
ah, oh, look at this 12 box, right. The minimum this can be is six, and that's what it has to be there for with a one there, and maybe that'll fix everything down. This column, oh, no, didn't quite, that's a seven. These are three, four, and nine. Um, oh, we've got to use this relationship now. Okay, this box has to have the nine in it to be bigger than this box, which has to have the three in it. So the nine's there, the three's there. Um, and that must help above, yes. Those can't be the three, that is the three. There we go, that fixes that three, that fixes that. Eight. That fixes that four, and we've got the top section done there. We can probably finish off the middle slice here. Two, five, five, eight, and then there we are. And I think we're going to get a happy announcement here. I mean, that's a pretty tough puzzle, really. Um, well done if you if you saw your way through that. Um, before testing it, and and I hope there's some useful tips there on what to look for. It's as always, it's a matter of elimination. With these puzzles, once they get rated as difficulty eight or ten, you know that every single relationship between boxes is going to matter at some point, and it's really just a matter of when you bring that in to decide. So I hope that's enjoyable. Thank you for watching. Um, and uh, I hope to see you again on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.